We're all familiar with the main highways on 2B2T, but what about the more obscure, lesser known paths, the ones begging to be discovered? A few nights ago, I was speaking to my good friend Ninja Walrus, which he also has a YouTube channel by the way, so go check him out. He makes 2B2T content. Anyway, he sent me this Reddit post about the red path somewhere around Spawn. Apparently, from what I gathered, it was this red, long, winding road. I said goodbye to my cat, Sunny, and I was on my way. So we're at the red path now and immediately there's already some wither action going on. I don't think it sees us though, so we should be straight. You just gotta love this wacky terrain generation. Well would you look at this, our first set of ruins. I'm not even surprised it's griefed. This place is super, super close to spawn. Look at that though. Let's leave a sign. Bow your heads and pay your respects. F in the chat. I speculate this part of the path has been decimated by weathers. Fucking nuisance. This path has been used and abused like a cheap Hollywood Boulevard night walker. The alpha blue water paired with the red and yellow sand is a beautiful sight to behold. A house. Signs from travelers who've once been here before me. No time to dwell on people long gone. Let's get a move on. Not much is known about the Red Path other than it was made by a player that goes by the name of Anakin underscore 90. I tried looking for this person across Discord and 2B2T of course, but to no avail. Now here we got a platform of sorts. Might have been a rest stop at one point feeding uh, the hunger players of 2B2T. I've always been a fan of paths cutting underneath the mountains. The land is looking a lot better too. A lot more trees and greenery. And Russians. Don't you just love creepers? Let's get out of this godforsaken farm. The sign reads, don't go in there, it's a fucking maze. Ooh, a sign, let's see what it says. Minecraft porn, smiley face. 2B2T players have such a beautiful way with words. This road we call the Red Path seems to be very, very windy. I wonder where it's leading us. There was a long period of time where I went without seeing an absolute single thing. It was just me, the wind, and the red sand alone. 
Eventually, I ate shit off of the stone brick bridge somebody built. After getting over that bridge, we encountered this little abandoned farm of sorts in a valley surrounded by hills. So far, this is a path like no other I've traveled before. It's long, windy roads, red sand, and the mystery of not knowing where it leads to makes for a very interesting experience. At this point, the road had become so bad, somebody actually had to make a little detour. That horse seems like it might come in handy. I'm surprised we haven't encountered Cody Smile 11 yet. Then I had been on this uh, stone bridge for a while, or cobblestone bridge for a while. And this guy had to make a little detour because the path was basically gone. Completely gone. If it wasn't for this little detour, I would have thought the road had ended here, to be honest. Further down the path, turns out somebody died here. And also, I found this horse. So, I went ahead and buried the horse saving him for later, and I decided to make some preparations to make this guy a proper tombstone. Rest in peace. With that said and done, it was time to continue our journey with our newfound friend, Skippy. Further down the road, we found this super nice acacia bridge. Actually, that's, uh, that's red sand. Never mind. Ooh, an abandoned melon farm. The decimation of the red path was so horrible here, it was, it wasn't even existent. It was gone. So I took my horse all the way around, trying to find a path, and eventually we found one. It wasn't exactly red, but it could lead us to the red path. Looks like we've hit a mine of sorts. I wonder if my trusty horse can fit through here. So I cut a huge chunk out here because, honestly, there was pretty much nothing to see along the path, but there was this cave. And 
have to say goodbye to my horse. Took the saddle though, just in case I found another. And we have reached the end of the red path, at least for now. Hopefully it gets extended in the future. If not, I can always come back and extend it myself a couple thousand blocks. Ended up climbing on a tree and watching the sun rise. Hopefully soon I can explore other peaceful, lonely paths. There's a lot on 2B2T, you'd be surprised. Thanks for watching.